Today, we're going to talk about squatting and how to fix your butt wink while you're coming down. Okay, so what is butt wink? To me, I look at the, the, the spine first. So when I'm doing this, you see people set up really proud like this, and then they push their butt back, and then they run out of room, and they collapse like that. Okay, you see how my hips tuck underneath me, and then they come back up like this. Okay, so what's going on there? To understand, we got to talk about the spine. So the spine has these normal curves, right? My upper back here should be curved like this as I'm facing the camera. My neck should be curved like this as I'm facing the camera and my low back the same way. So what happens when people are really trying to set themselves up, they're trying to get tight, they're trying to get their chest up so they don't collapse under the weight. What that does is it reverses that curve. And so now my upper back, instead of looking like this, looks like this. And it has this extra arch. And since everything is connected, the other parts of the spine do the same thing. They flip. So, I would argue that if you're having trouble with your butt wink, it's not that you need to drive your chest up more to keep you from collapsing. The collapse isn't happening here, the collapse is happening at your low back and your hips. So what you need to do is prevent them from running out of room so quickly. When I do this, I lose all this room, right? I need hip flexion to come on down into my squat. And if I'm here, I'm already in like 30 degrees of hip flexion. And then I give myself maybe 90 more and now I'm run out and I got nothing left. So it's got to come from my back, just like that. Okay. So the fix, instead of driving the chest up, what we do is we let it come down a little bit. A lot of people don't cue things like that, but that's something that as I've worked with people over the last almost decade now, that is a key factor in pretty much everybody. Okay, there are a few people who will collapse like this. And if you're collapsing like that, I want you to stick your chest out. But if you're having butt wink, chances are your chest is too big. Okay, I want to tell you a story. So I was assisting with an Olympic weightlifting course, a USA weightlifting course. And there was one guy we were lifting with just dowel rods, right? He's learning the snatch. So the snatch starts down here. You push yourself away from the ground. You bring your hips forward. You stand up. You jump and you shrug and then you catch the weight, usually all the way down here, and then stand all the way up. This dude, one or two hours in to this day and a half long course, was exhausted. He was absolutely exhausted. He did not pick up a bar the rest of the day, maybe once or twice, okay? But he could not participate anymore. And you know why? It's because this is where he was. And the whole time he was here, he was driving his chest up, trying to get the stiffness to pick up a dowel rod, which weighs like five pounds. That strategy is ineffective for picking up something really light. And it can be ineffective for picking up something really heavy if you're overcoming that position like this. Okay, so instead, I like to set up with an exhale. That helps me bring my ribs down and back just a little bit. I don't want a chest in cave. I just want ribs down and back a little bit. Hang on to that while you squat and that butt wink goes away.